as soon as I paint it on, I gotta go flock it. I wonder if YouTube's gonna ding me for saying flock so much. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and a guitar company gave me this nice, expensive, lovely guitar, but it's kind of too mm, normal. So in this video, I will ruin it. No, <laughs> this is gonna be great. My guitar playing is velvety smooth, so clearly I need an instrument that is also that. Of course, just a solid color velvet guitar isn't outrageous enough, so I gotta figure out some cool design. Mm, no. Using my logo as an inspiration might be cool to me, but I want this artwork to be universally cool. Ooh, a fuzzy zebra. Eh, but if I'm gonna be shredding on the guitar, I don't wanna be an herbivore. There we go, tiger. And red velvet is universally ridiculous. I mean, cool. Now the way I'm gonna do this is to paint on this adhesive and then spray these fibers to make it stick and create a lush tiger coat. That's so weird. This process is called flocking and it will look and feel absolutely super cool. Unless I absolutely super screw this up, which is definitely possible. <laughs> First step is to rough up the surface for the adhesive. So this is the part in the video where I make all my musician pallies nauseous. Wait, let's give you one final song as a normal guitar. That's all, Flox. I mean, folks. Oh, hi. Do you like music? You came out here. Yeah, help me do this. Maybe people won't be as mad if there's something cute and fuzzy with me. Just taking the strings off this beautifully crafted instrument. Son of a... <laughs> okay, prepped. Sorry. He's antsy. Okay, go before I have second thoughts. Oh, yeah. This better turn out. The craftsmanship that went into this. I am not taking a dump on it, I am enhancing it. Oh yeah, they don't know I'm doing this. I do have to admit this is somehow enjoyable. Okay, I appreciate you still being here. That means you're a pally that believes in me. Everyone else is left infuriated. Oh, that's guitar blood on there. Okay, now let's transform you to a treacherous tiger, Taylor. Surprisingly, the only chalk I have is gym chalk. Let me just take out my useful art material. Okay, now I should get out my projector and trace this perfectly, but that sounds like a lot of work, so I'm just choosing to wing it. Okay, not bad. Actually, it looks pretty great. Now I need a flocking booth so all the little velvety pieces don't fly everywhere. This is the box that has the foam that I used to make my barrel. Good thing I saved it at, uh, it's not big enough. Okay, I think I have an idea. Hi, welcome to my landlord's storage space underneath where I live. And it's freaking recycling day, so I have zero boxes to even construct something. So I'm gonna try and use my landlord's dresser, maybe. This is a great and sound idea. Also, don't tell him. Oh, come on, there's a stupid thing in it. No. I can get it out, probably. Is Ikea more difficult to disassemble than assemble? Oh, I'm sweating. Okay, whatever, I'll just leave it. Son of a... There's no bottom. Ooh. Despite all of the flaws, this is probably still my best option right now. But how? Oh, there are screws. Perfect. Just definitely remember how that goes back together later. This is the nicest flocking booth I've ever built. And also the crappiest and the only. I showed you this earlier, but I got the big guns pun. Like an actual gun that will compress air and spray the flock. Oh, I need to make sure my compressor is not too aggressive. Okay. Oh, this sucks. That is not the right size at all, or connector. They're both these internal threads, which nothing about when I purchased this said that you had to need a special. I thought this little guy would be fine. Ugh. I may have to do this by hand. I'm thinking maybe I can just, you know, tape situation. <laughs> Compressors are expensive and duct tape is not. <laughs> this is totally definitely gonna work. I can feel the air coming out the bottom. There's still a chance. Okay. Oh, right. There's this thing called flock worker's lung, which is real and terrifying sounding. I haven't heard of flock worker's eye, but I'm also extra careful. I like seeing it. It's ridiculous how afraid I am of fuzzy stuff. Luxurious white velvet. Oh, it is kind of going everywhere. Okay. This is actually the funnel to fill the inflatable chairs from my gym. <laughs> Please work, this is gonna save me a lot of effort. The idea is that I would spray this onto the wet adhesive. Well, let's just see if it works for Woo, that was something. Come on. Ah, you serious? Nothing. Uh, all right, I think 
guess I'm doing this by hand. Human powered flocking. Probably should have used a funnel. Whatever. Now, God, if this doesn't work, I'm screwed. Nothing? There we go. That's the poof I want. Great. I'll burn more calories this way. <laughs> now is the part when I get nervous because this has 10 minutes working time, so. I'm on the clock as soon as I paint it on, I gotta go flock it. I wonder if YouTube's gonna ding me for saying flock so much. So I'm gonna do this in sections, see if I can pull it off. Also, it says do not work in sections, the lines between the sections will show. But I couldn't find any directions online about flocking different colors next to each other, so I think this will be fine, maybe. Let's start with the back in case I screw this up. If you're wondering, no, I've never done this before, but also you definitely weren't wondering that. Three, two, one, go. Probably should have taped this off, but that also sounds like more work. So again, I am winging it. I'm now thinking maybe I should have done the red first because the red bleeding into the white seems more aggressive, but too late now. Okay, let me flock this before it's too late. Is it sticking? I think it's sticking. So the idea is that my booth is gonna collect all these fibers and they're still usable if they don't stick to it. I think it worked. I really want to touch it and I really should not touch it. Right. I've learned that I want the paint to be as smooth as possible because you can still kind of see it. And that's why you do small scale tests before. Just kidding, that's why you start on the back. I'm really glad the adhesive is thick enough and it's not just dripping into where I don't want it. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh it's fine. Honestly, that's working even better. See, the guitar knows what it needs. Just to lay down. Let me flock you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, yes, this is looking sweet. It's so fuzzy. My booth is doing its job, I guess. I'm not even mad that I'm not using the gun. This is working. Uh, okay, this section somehow ended up being huge, and so I gotta do it all at once. Who designed this? All right, start the clock. Also, this section I didn't design on the computer, so I was absolutely winging it with the chalk. But I'm pretty sure this is exactly accurate to nature. If a tiger evolved to be a guitar, it would look just like this. Ugh, I don't have time for drips. Also, this is my landlord's table. Oops, it's already starting to dry. Oh, crap. I'm not even halfway. Go, go, go. Clock, clock, clock. Oh, I think it's sticking. Thank goodness. I don't know what flock of getting into the electronics will do, but <laughs> Okay, on to the neck. We're getting there. I gotta be able to tell where I am. Locked my ring. Oops. I can't do any more until that dries for 10 to 15 hours, so I guess I'm gonna go unflock myself. I do believe it is touchable at this point. Oh my god. Oh, oh, this is so cool. It feels way better than I even expected. I cannot wait to feel the finished product. Now I should finish all the white first, but I am too impatient about seeing the red, so we're doing red. Now I gotta get this to lay perfectly in between the white, right up against that edge. It seems to be bleeding a little or a lot. It's soaking into the white. I gotta flock this quickly, maybe that'll stop it. Oh man, this red looks so cool. Okay, I think that stopped the bleeding. Huh. Red velvet blood. But now the second concern is that the red will stick into the white and I'm hoping it was dry enough, I was patient enough. Yeah, we're not gonna know till at least tomorrow because I can't use compressed air on this when it's still wet on the red. <sighs> okay, let's just hope this is working and keep going. The red bleeding has made the working time even shorter on this, so today is even more challenging. I developed a system where I fill the center first and then paint the edges and then frantically go flock. The bleeding is better than the alternative, which would mean leaving some wood in between the two colors because we don't want anyone knowing that our genuine tiger is actually made of mahogany. But, stupid flocking booth. That's the second time I've done that. Okay, and now more excruciating dry time. Looks like my flock booth is doing a great job. The moment of truth. Please, please still be white. It worked. I think it worked. Yes, yes, yes. There's some tiny little flecks of red still on the white, but then if you get really close, you can get them off. This looks so cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> The stripes are raised up. This is so pleasing. This is what they meant by the lines between the sections will show. It's a feature, not a bug. Okay, I gotta finish. Let's go. I 
have been going back and forth and back and forth in my brain this whole time. Uh, at this point, it's probably still playable. It'll just sound pretty muted. But the most outrageous thing would be to have a velvet fretboard. You know, the part where you touch the most? Ugh. Of course, that will really challenge the possibility that this will be playable. But we always want to be the most outrageous, right? Okay, we're doing the fretboard. <laughs> Guess I'm willing to sacrifice usefulness for looking super awesome. Well, I should definitely tape off the metal frets. Wait, I'm not doing that. Oh, winging it again. I'm trying to lay the adhesive on really smooth now and thinner, so this may still be playable. This project is taking a lot of time. It would be nice if the red was just done. Hey, all right! My design brain didn't think about the fact that a third color would add another whole day to this project. It was just trying to make this look as remarkable as possible. Though I think the extra work is worth it because the red stripes weaving over the pick guard is turning out really great. Okay. You take a cat nap and we will be back tomorrow. There is a light dusting of velvet all over my everything. Oh, it is all over my camera. Plus some flocking adhesive and hey, Chia! Even my deodorant shows that it is in my pits. Oh dear. Uh, the duct tape took off some of the surface of the dresser. I may have flocked a couple of spots here and there. It's fine. This is the inside. You can't even tell. And also, that made it better. If he is truly upset, I will buy him another dresser. Also, shout out to my Patreon pallies who support me and make outrageous art possible and keep me out of trouble with my landlord. This is way scarier than the red. The moment of truth. Will the colors stay separated? Oh, I think it's working. Yes, yes, yes. Oh man, probably should have taped this off, but it's fine. Just vacuuming my guitar like one does. Oh my goodness, I need to know what this sounds like. <laughs> Wait, before hearing, let's appreciate seeing and touching. <gasps> This is incredible. Oh my goodness, it's even better than I imagined. What? Yes, I have my face on it, stop judging. The camera is not doing this justice. It is so lush and thick and soft and textured. You can feel the stripes. Look, I even did the little knobs. <gasps> I don't even care, fretboard was a good choice, even if we can't hear anything out of this. My favorite part is that one of the stripes went right over the dot, so it's half and half colored. Wow, just dumb. I mean, wow. Wait, what? I hate it. I hate it. I just found out Christine has a sensory thing about this kind of like, texture. Looking at it makes me have the goosebumps. <laughs> I'm not even joking. What? This is so pleasing. No, it's like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. That sounds fine. It's not even that muted. This is crazy. But can I hold the strings down on the fuzzy frets? <gasps> it works. And it feels so cool. Almost normal. I mean, it's still, you can definitely tell that it sounds like a tiger. Wait, let me get closer to the mic. I honestly like the muted better. I prefer this sound. Just a little fuzz distortion. This is amazing. This is my guitar. This just hit me that I can look like this and play. I just assumed I made the thing that would take up space in my studio being non-functional. But now its function is helping me look outrageous and make music. Obviously, this is the first song I should play. Feeling you longing for Black Velvet in that little boy smile Black Velvet, if you please <laughs> Oh yeah, of course I gotta do this one. <laughs> if you liked this, you'll probably like seeing when I turned my keyboard into a mood ring. I'll put that down there for you. I just wasted an entire day. I made a single color, not shifting black keyboard. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I use my piano to express myself, which is why I'm going to transform this instrument into a mood ring, which will show me colors based on what temperature 